Hey everyone, it's Steven back with another video, and this time I'm covering the Sony a7 IV and the Sony FE 35mm f1.4 G Master lens. I purchased these two back in mid-October of 2022, which is about six months of use so far. I was previously using the Canon mirrorless system with the R, and it's been great so far. I like the images I got out of the Canon system, but I didn't want to continue and upgrade within that ecosystem for some reason. A few things I don't like when it comes to the Canon system is having to use an adapter for EF lenses, the crazy prices of the RF L lenses, and the missing 35mm RF L lens that is likely going to be expensive and large at f1.2. Sony has this GM35 1.4 that's optically very good and compact. I found over time that I tend not to shoot with bulkier equipment and go for the more compact lenses. It's also $1400 compared to the likely $2000 Canon RF 35mm. There's also something to be said for the way Sony sensors render images. I don't know exactly what the technical details are, but Sony images tend to resolve with more clarity, to my eyes at least. The Canon R sensor is also seven years old. The a7 IV seems to have improvements in color reproduction from past Sony cameras and is good enough for me. Canon's color reproduction is very unique and in my opinion produces a slightly more artistic and softer looking image than the more hyper-realistic look of Sony images. I like them both. The Canon R is more comfortable to hold and easier on the hands than the a7 IV, but I surprisingly found that it doesn't bother me at all. When I'm working with the camera for longer periods, I just get on with it and don't even notice. From an aesthetic perspective, I really like the way the Sony a7 IV looks, but in usage, it definitely feels like a tool and isn't necessarily inspirational. The Sony lenses also have a very functional look to them. The newer and improved menu system on the Sony I also found to be easy to use and haven't had any problems with it. I don't utilize button shortcuts much, but there's plenty of them. The display quality is not as good as the Canon's and again, doesn't bother me as the image is clear. Also for the raw files, the shadow and highlight recovery is significantly better than on the R as is to be expected with a newer sensor. Overall, I really like the mirrorless experience with Sony and there's just something about Canon's approach I don't care for at this time. I think it ultimately comes down to this 35mm lens, which is my favorite and most often used focal length. It's very good. The combination of its lightweight and smaller size, 1.4 aperture, and excellent rendering make this combination of lens and camera highly useful. The camera does everything really well for the stuff I shoot, which is family photos, landscapes, events, environmental portraits, and video. It's not a sports or wildlife specific camera, more so general usage. Also, I wanted to quickly share a couple of really useful accessories for the camera from Small Rig. The first is the Small Rig base plate. I mainly got this because it provides a bit more extra grip as the camera is on the shorter side vertically. It also happens to have an integrated archetype dovetail, which combines really well with the second accessory the small rig archetype quick release clamp. I keep the clamp on my tripod head and it allows me to get the camera on and off quicker than using the stock Manfrotto long release plate. And it's way less bulky. Here's some sample images I've shot with the camera and the lens.